Chicago is known worldwide for its towering skyscrapers and incredibly beautiful downtown. What better way to enjoy the city of the big shoulders than getting a bird's eye view from an observation deck? What's good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. Chicago has two super tall observation decks. The Sky Deck at Sears Tower, which stands at 103 floors above the Windy City. That's the one that most tourists have on their radar. But there's also 360 Chicago at the John Hancock Center. Is that one even better than Sky Deck? That's what we're gonna find out today, so make sure to keep it locked. Before we go up to the 94th floor, make sure to finesse that like button and subscribe for more travel content. Hi, how you doing? Do you still offer the Chicago discount? Can we, I do one tilt and view and then one uh, regular admission. Is it busy today so far? All right, thank you. You're So these are the elevators. They travel about 20 miles per hour or two floors per second. Unlike the Sky Deck at Sears Tower, there's really no museum with interactive experiences here, but there are still a few things that you can learn about the city. The John Hancock Center was designed by famed architectural firm Skidmore Owens & Merrill, led by Bruce Graham and Fazlur Khan. This is the same architectural firm behind One World Trade Center, the Burj Khalifa, and of course, the Sears Tower. Including the antennae, this building is 1,500 feet tall, but the observation deck stands at 1,030 feet above the city. It's a somewhat rare example of structural expressionism, and perhaps the most famous example. When you look at it from the outside, you can see the X trusses and the exposed steel beams. That's essentially what's holding this building up. Most of the time that's covered up by glass or concrete, brick, whatever. The building is expressing the engineering behind it, which I think is pretty dope. That makes John Hancock Center my favorite building in the entire city of Chicago. When it was completed in 1969, the John Hancock Center was the second tallest building in the entire world. Today, it doesn't rank so high. It's actually number five in the city of Chicago and number 13 in the United States. Unlike the Sears Tower, which is mostly commercial, world business headquarters, Big John is mostly residential. We're in the process of picking up a condo in this building, so keep it locked for that. A few years back, actually, John Hancock Insurance Company wanted their name removed from the tower. So now it's officially referred to as 875 North Michigan Avenue, but you know your boy's never gonna refer to this building as 875 North Michigan Avenue. This is the John Hancock Center forever. One thing to keep in mind, and this doesn't matter if you come into 360 Chicago or Sky Deck Chicago, make sure you're not going on a cloudy, overcast day. In Chicago, we get a lot of those, and that's gonna ruin your experience of the observation deck. Beautiful, clear day like this, a few clouds in the sky, perfect time to come. Check the forecast, don't buy advance tickets if you don't have to. The John Hancock Center is at the northern end of downtown. Unlike Sky Deck, you get a view of the Sears Tower, plus most of the buildings in downtown. You also get a beautiful view of Lake Michigan, Lincoln Park, and the west side. All right, so here you got the gift shop. They've got hats, t-shirts, hoodies, pictures, books, pretty much anything you could want to bring home to your family and friends. I'm about to go on tilt for the very first time. It's made of two tons of glass. It can hold a four ton elephant and it tilts 30 degrees above Chicago. It's the first of its kind for an observation deck. All right, that was a lot of fun. I don't know that it's worth an additional $8, but it was a lot of fun. It's a little adrenaline rush, really. You don't get that type of perspective normally above Chicago where you can kind of just look straight down in a comfortable position. I do wish that it tilted a little bit more. It only goes 30 degrees. It'd be a lot nicer if it did 60 or even 90 degrees. Check this out. You could start your coin collection. You get a commemorative tilt and 360 Chicago coin. I don't know, probably a good gift for the kids. Commemorative t-shirt for tilt. That's pretty cool. Actually, It'd be better if they offered custom versions of this. Maybe they do, I'm not sure. You got Blues Brothers here, 360 water bottle. Treats for the kids, little deep dish, little hot dog with the cat in it. <laughs>
Right now, we're on one of the tallest outdoor skywalks in the entire world. Now, personally, I prefer 360 Chicago to Sky Deck Chicago in the Sears Tower. And my biggest argument is because you can't see the Sears Tower from the Sears Tower. Kind of like how New Yorkers say, go to Top of the Rock so you can see the Empire State Building. You're closer to Lake Michigan. There are also many more areas to hang out at 360 Chicago, not just the glass boxes. You have Bar 94, you have plenty of seating areas. You do get those 360 views, north, east, west, and south. Plus you have this open air skywalk, which you don't have at the Sears Tower. And you're right on Mag Mile. Once you're done, you got shopping, hotels, other attractions. Now the Sky Deck, you do get those phenomenal photos that that you really can't get anywhere else. It is fun to sit in those glass boxes. To me, the biggest difference between the 360 and the Sky Deck is that in the 360, oh, yeah. you get an up close and personal view of all the buildings. You really feel like you're part of the city. In the Sky Deck, you're looking up from so high up that it kind of looks like you're looking at little Lego pieces. General admission to 360 Chicago is $30. It's an additional $8 if you want to experience tilt. The kids discount is $10, but kids under three get in absolutely free. And they also offer drink packages because there's a bar right around the corner called Bar 94. They used to offer a Chicago resident discount, but they no longer do that. I have no idea why. But speaking of admission price, keep it locked because I'm gonna show you how to get these views without paying for that ticket. Yeah, that's right. All right, so what about if you want those iconic views from the Hancock Center 90 plus floors up, but don't wanna pay the price of admission to 360 Chicago? Well, follow me, I got a hack for you. All right, so we are going up the elevator for the second time today. All right, for the second time today, we are 90 plus floors above Chicago. This is the signature lounge. This is 96 floors above the Windy City. You can basically come up here for free. The catch is you have to buy a drink or some food, but I think that's a pretty nice trade-off to get these epic views of Chicago. Little hidden secret, the view from the women's restroom is one of the best views of the city. Signature room is for more formal type dinners, celebrating graduation, a wedding anniversary, maybe celebrating moving to Chicago. Who knows, but you're guaranteed a great time with an amazing vantage point. So we are up here at sunset enjoying a couple of beers. You're talking NYC observatories, you'd have to pay extra for this experience. Having a drink while enjoying these iconic views of the most beautiful city in the world, can't beat that. I absolutely think 360 Chicago is worth the price of admission, but let us know in the comments. Peace.